He's been running a fever, vomiting, and has been complaining about a sore throat and headaches. Hmm. Sounds like possible symptoms of poliomyelitis. And it looks like he is due for an IPV shot, so what we could do is- No. Uh, uh, I'm sorry? Just tell me what kind of diffuser I need in the house. Grapefruit? Cedarwood? Myrrh? <laughs> I can't believe you wanted to put harmful diseases into my child. M m mom Mom! Mom! I can't move my arms! Shut up, Calcifer! Listen to your kids, Bob! Just like any good mother, my mom always looked after my health when I was just a helpless child. C Shelby, no! You can't play with the broken syringes in the alleyway. I don't care if you look like Wolverine, we gotta go meet your grandmother. However, because my younger sister is more clumsy, she wasn't so lucky even when mom looked out for her. But that's enough of her, it's time for my stories. Right before school started of my second grade year, I had a horse riding incident and fractured my right arm. Luckily, it wasn't too major, so all I had to wear was a splint. <laughs> and I remember it smelled really bad. And the doctor also said I had to try riding with my left hand, but after like two seconds of trying, I gave up. One day while I was in class, I looked down at my arm and it was huge. It looked like someone stuck a piping bag to my finger and filled it with cream. Like it was cartoonishly large. Ew. My arm's all swollen. Mm-hmm. That's nice. However, when I showed my mom, she wasn't as passive about the situation, and she called her doctor friend to ask what to do, and then my school. Does this mean I get an Oreo? My mom also made us take daily vitamins. However, mom didn't buy my sister and I the tasty gummy ones. No, no, no. She made us get the nasty Flintstone chalk vitamins. I hated these things. But, but... I actually like the... I would dread taking them before going to school. In fact, I remember one time I pretended to eat one, but I just held it in my hand. And I was so scared of my mom finding out about it, so I waited until I was on the school bus way past my house before I threw it out the window. I may have not liked the vitamins, but I was more terrified of the wrath of my mother. Another story with my mom. Me, my younger sister Kaylee, and my mom were playing hide and seek. Mom was counting with her eyes closed while she sat in a chair. Unbeknownst to them, I was in the perfect hiding spot. Well, Kaylee believed my mom was cheating because she didn't have her hands over her eyes, therefore she was peeking. So Kaylee decided to solve that. We didn't get to play hide and seek after that. Hey guys, long time no see, and I actually have something to talk about this time. My friends and I actually created a Discord for the TikTok and the YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description where you can click on the invite to join. It's pretty basic and we're looking to expand on it later just so we could get comfortable and have a good foundation. Like we have voice chats open, we have chats with you can put your pictures of your pets in, art, just a chill chat and a welcome chat. And then we also could have announcements and stuff where you can see where I upload new videos and or live streams. I guess another report of news. Um, my mom made a TikTok. I, I don't know how to feel about that. And actually, the 18th through the 20th of this month is my college finals, so that's kind of cool. I'm going to be stressing for this next week, but hey, I still did this, so is that a good idea or a bad idea? I don't know, probably bad. Uh, I'm still here. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good one, and you guys all be safe for Thanksgiving, and have a good time, and I'm going to go finish my grilled cheese sandwich. Alright, bye.